Welcome back to my raid mode guide my friends. This time around I'm playing as Hank. He's available on the PlayStation Network store for free, which is surprising, but he's available for free. And I thought it would be fun to play as Hank in this mission because really we don't get to see enough of Hank. Yes, he's available on a bunch of mercenaries modes and so on. In fact, he's present in a bunch of mercenaries modes on different Resident Evil games. But it's been a while since we've gotten to play as Hank, so might as well play as him right now. In fact, it's something that's always surprised me a little bit, how Hank doesn't have his own game. This guy has enough backstory and... Well, he's just cool enough that I think a, a game with Hank would just work. I do think so. Remember that Hank was first made available on the fourth Survivor campaign on Resident Evil 2 all those years ago. But even though he isn't considered one of the main characters, he remains incredibly popular with the Resident Evil community, at least that's my understanding. And I like the guy even though I still feel terrible. Uh, that we had to leave Goblin 6 behind. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, in Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles there's a mission where you get to play as Hank. And Goblin 6 was a member of Hank's team who apparently got injured in the sewers and asks for assistance but Hank says that survival is her own responsibility and leaves her behind before he abandons Raccoon City. Well, that's the one thing that I probably don't like about Hank, is that he left his teammate behind, but like he says, survival is your own responsibility, so unfortunately we couldn't do anything for Goblin 6. Nonetheless, just like Wesker here, Hank has a pretty good melee attack. You can dispose of two enemies at the same time using Hank's melee attack if they're standing close enough together. So that makes killing enemies a lot easier with Hank. And now that we've collected that key, let's move on ahead for to the final area of this first zone. Like I said, it's going to be interesting when I play this chapter once again on very hard difficulty remember that if you're using the sniper rifle if the enemies are aligned you can actually kill two or three at the same time with a single shot I don't quite know if it's possible to kill more than three with a single bullet three is the maximum amount that I've gotten with a single shot I thought I had that one aligned, but I guess I didn't. Run back up once you shoot those three, because as you saw, another wave of enemies appears, and they can actually catch you by surprise if you're not careful enough. Let's use the shotgun here just for fun. Like I said, most of the weapons that I use in this mode I just use them because I think they fit the character that I'm playing as, so that's why we tank he has his machine gun, a sniper rifle and a shotgun, even though I'm probably going to replace the shotgun later on with something else, but for this first mission it works out just fine. At this point I could have moved to the exit, but if you want to get the medallion for killing all the enemies in an episode you do need to make sure you stay behind and kill those ones and this concludes the episode for Hank the mission is complete and once again we got all of the medallions and we also didn't take any damage which is good so next up is going to be Wesker's mission and after that I'm going to be moving on ahead to a new mission. So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. 
Thank you so much for watching my friends and I'll see you all later. Take care.